On June the 1st, 1943, a KLM civilian flight going from Lisbon in Portugal to Bristol in England was shot down by Luftwaffe over the northwest coast of Spain. Um, on it were some uh, government officials, some businessmen and uh, a screen matinee idol called Leslie Howard. Uh, Leslie Howard had been born Leslie Howard Steiner in uh, London in 1893. Uh, there'd been some disagreements with the family. He was taken over to uh, Vienna, Austria, where he went to school. He would have learned to speak German without an accent, which is always useful stuff. Um, uh, the family came back and he would join the British Army, uh, join the First World War. He lost the Steiner at that point, so he just became Leslie Howard. End of World War I, he gets into acting. It's the start of the talking movies. Um, he's a good looking, athletic, blonde haired guy. He's got presence, he's got a good accent. Um, he's, he does stage uh, in London and then over in the States and he gets a house on Great Neck on Long Island, which I think is the basis for Great Egg in, in uh, uh, Fitzger Fitzgerald's uh, The Great Gatsby. Um, he, and his career takes off and he does that fantastic thing during the early part of cinema where he's popular on both sides of the Atlantic. There's a few other big names that, that do that that we can go and explore later. Um, during the 30s, his film career is solid. He, he plays the Scarlet Pimpernel, he plays Blakeney in the Scarlet Pimpernel. But in 1939, um, Gone With The Wind is released and he plays Ashley Wilkes in it. Um, Gone With The Wind, I'm not too sure whether it's on my top 10 list, but if you're American, it's solidly part of your cultural history. It's got Clark Gable as Rep Butler, it's got Vivian Lee as Scarlett O'Hara, uh, Scarlett O'Hara, Olivia de Havilland's in it. Um, and uh, Leslie Howard plays Ashley Wilkes with this cut glass British upper class accent. Um, not, a, not a trace of southern states at all. Um, it's quite an unusual portrayal, but anyway, he, it knocks him into superstardom just at the outbreak of World War II. Um, Howard then um, starts doing propaganda work for the, for the British, for the Allies. Um, he's popular in the States, he's got a radio show in the States, he does radio in, in, uh, in England too. Um, and he's, you know, he's on, he's on uh, film, he's in the theatre, um, uh, he can speak German, it's always really useful if you do propaganda. Um, and he ends up on a speaking tour in uh, Portugal and Spain uh, during May 1943. Portugal's neutral, Spain is uh, a non-belligerent but heavily leaning towards the Axis powers. If you know how the Civil War started in Spain, it was kicked off using technology that was, uh, came from uh, Germany and the, uh, you know they were basically testing out the Blitzkrieg. Um, we'll do Guernica one day. So um, Howard is on this flight, takes off, it gets um, picked up by the Luftwaffe uh, fighters and he gets, um, he gets killed in, in, uh, in the resulting crash um, off the coast of uh, northwest Spain. Um, speculation until today about why did the Luftwaffe um, take out a civilian aircraft coming from a neutral country? That's kind of solidly not kosher. Um, and um, the speculation is, is that they either knew that Howard was on it and they wanted to take him out or they thought there was some other high value target, potentially Churchill was on it too. That's going to go on. Apparently there's some government papers going to be released in 2027. So if I'm still around, we'll come back and we'll do the follow up in 2027. Anyway, long story short. OK, during the 30s, Howard lived in this beautiful house, like a really, really pretty house. It's 16th century, two cottages that have been put together with some very tasteful additions on it. There's a really nice front door. Um, a big kind of uh, studded front door and there's some photos online that you can see with him walking walking into it it's got a blue plaque on the front as well I, I'll try and take some pictures without annoying the uh, uh, without annoying the current owners um, but uh, um, as well as looking pretty apparently inside it's got some really nice original touches big master bedroom with his and hers art deco bathrooms a projection theater out the back um, very of its time. You can imagine Leslie Howard entertaining his guests here. Um, he was a big um, pal with Humphrey Bogart, 
you can imagine people coming over from Hollywood and spending time here. So if you're in this area, kind of do look out for it. It's off a little lane, I'll put a map in, and um, it's off a little lane to the west of Dorking. Um, but yeah, a super pretty house, Stowe Marie in Westcott. Pretty, isn't it? See you soon. Take care. Bye.